Hi everyone. Imagine having your own version of ChatGPT running right at your home. Completely private and always accessible. Sounds cool, right? Well, that's exactly what I have been working on. Setting up and running AI models like Llama locally on my Dell server, powered by an Nvidia Tesla GPU. It's been a fascinating journey and I wanted to share my experience with you. I'll show how it performs with and without the GPU. Explain why running AI locally can be a game changer and even give you a sneak peek at generating AI images locally. So let's dive in. For the ease of understanding, I have broken down this video into several segments. Hardware requirements, installing and running Llama, performance comparison, benefits of running AI locally, and lastly, exploring AI image creation. This is my Dell R520 server. It's been my go-to machine for running various projects. Recently, I installed an Nvidia Tesla M40 GPU. While it's designed for data center use and doesn't have a fan, it has 24 GB of VRAM, which is great for running large AI models. If you are curious about how to install this GPU in a Dell server or how it stacks up against other cards, Subscribe to the channel because I'll be making a detailed video on that soon. To run AI locally, I created a virtual machine using Proxmox. The great thing is, you don't need a server like mine to try this. You could do this on a spare laptop with a decent GPU or an old PC or any other machine with enough hardware power. Initially, I ran everything without GPU pass-through to see how it performed on the CPU alone. Spoiler alert, it was painfully slow, but we'll get to that in a bit. Once the VM was set up, I installed Ubuntu and made sure everything was ready to install. To get started with Llama, I'm using Llama 3.2. I ran a series of commands to download and set it up, which I am showing on the screen. I have also shared those exact commands in the video description as well. Initially, I didn't enable GPU pass-through because I wanted to see how it performed using just the CPU. Once everything was set up, I ran a few test prompts and while it worked, it was painfully slow. Generating responses took forever and the CPU was completely maxed out as you can see on the screen. Next up, I enable GPU pass through in Proxmox and install NVIDIA drivers inside the VM. It took a bit of tweaking, but once everything was in place, the GPU was ready to take over. The commands for installing NVIDIA drivers are also in the description. Once the GPU pass-through was enabled, I ran the same Llama model. The difference was night and day. On the CPU, responses took several seconds to generate and felt painfully slow. But with the GPU enabled, the Tesla M40 handled the workload effortlessly. While running Llama after GPU pass-through, I was curious to see if the GPU was being utilized efficiently. 
For this, I monitored the GPU's usage, temperature, and other stats using my Grafana dashboard. Having the setup was incredibly helpful in keeping an eye on my system's performance whenever I wanted. If you are interested, I'll be making a separate video soon on how I use Grafana to monitor my home lab setup and other projects. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. After setting up Llama, I wanted to explore a user-friendly interface for interacting with AI models. So I installed OpenWeb UI. For this, I used Docker, which made the installation process straightforward and efficient. I'll share the exact Docker commands I used in the description below, so you can try it yourself. If you are already familiar with Docker, this setup should take only a few minutes. With OpenWeb UI, it became much easier to interact with AI models like Llama. Instead of using terminal commands, I could input prompts and manage tasks directly through the web interface. Now, why go through all this trouble to run AI locally? Well, there are three big reasons. The first, privacy. When you run AI models locally, your data stays with you. You don't have to worry about sending sensitive information to cloud servers. Second, it's cost effective. Cloud services can get expensive, especially if you are running large models for extended periods. With local hardware, you avoid ongoing subscription fees. And finally, it's always accessible. Whether you are experimenting with AI, building applications, or just testing new ideas, having everything running locally means you are not dependent on an internet connection or a third-party provider. Before wrapping up, here's a quick look at something else I have been exploring. Generating AI images locally using Stable Diffusion. This is just a sneak peek of what this setup can do beyond text-based AI models. If you are interested in learning more, subscribe to see my next video where I'll dive deeper into creating AI images and workflows for local use. So that's how I set up and run Llama 3.2 locally on my Dell R520 server with Tesla M40 GPU. Comparing CPU and GPU performance was a real eye-opener and I'm excited about the possibilities of running AI on local hardware. If you've got questions or suggestions, drop a comment below. And if you'd like to see a dedicated video on the Tesla M40, its installation in Dell servers, its quirks, and how it compares to other GPUs, let me know. Thanks for watching, and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.